Hey guys, so it is day 31. Um, I am coming up on the uh, starting of the sixth week, which will be the halfway point on Monday. Um, or at least, well, next Friday will be the official halfway point, but um, not a lot to talk about today. I didn't really get to do a lot. I started off really early in the morning at the office and ended really late having to fight with Sprint back home. And I tell you, I've said it before, but I'll say it again, having to deal with anything back in the U.S. while you're traveling abroad is an absolute nightmare. Between uh, the cost of dealing business with trying to get home, or dealing with people at home, the cost of the phone calls, the time exchange, um, it's just really difficult trying to do anything. So if you have a problem outside of the country, you're, you're screwed. I mean, there's a lot of issues that happen. But... Something I do want to talk about, uh, two things actually. So tomorrow is officially the start of a uh, national holiday here. And for the next like two months, my understanding is it's like purely holidays. Um, next Friday is a guaranteed day off. No one's allowed to work. Uh, the 2nd of October is a guaranteed day off. No one can allowed to work. And then there's like five or six days in a row that everything's pretty much shut down for festivals. Uh, tomorrow the office is closed, so I'm going to get to stay home. Uh, at least in the morning and then tomorrow afternoon I'm gonna go out and enjoy or try to enjoy the festival uh, kind of see what's going on my driver stated that uh, tomorrow afternoon everything really kicks off and then technically it's 11 day festival but uh, we're really only celebrating the first day at the office so back to work on Friday sort of I'm gonna work from out from the house but so that was one thing I want to talk about was the festivals and you could tell that it's definitely some kind of big deal around here because Normally the neighborhoods that I walk past while I'm uh, going to dinner or just out walking to, you know, get some fresh air and rest my head a little bit. Um, normal, normally some of these neighborhoods are very dark, uh, look like there's no electricity to them. Uh, but tonight everybody's getting prepped for tomorrow. Every freaking neighborhood around here had lights up, um, uh, rope lights, string lights, Christmas lights, like you name it. It was... It's actually kind of cool to see all the lights around here, and apparently some of the people in the neighborhood that I'm in uh, are participating because they're practicing their drums um, and instruments outside right now, so I can see this being a possibly really uh, loud evening, so we'll see how that goes. The other thing I want to talk about is the dogs, but not the wild dogs that I've touched base before. Uh, the wild dogs, like I said, I've said before, are just random wild roaming dogs. They've got a face almost like a Doberman. Ears uh, very similar if they were clipped. I mean they have that almost distinctive point to them but they're all floppy like so they haven't been uh, they haven't been clipped and held up. And yeah I know I said floppy. <laughs> Fuck off. Um, so they got the face and the ears of a Doberman but they got these scrawny little bodies and these little like bushy tails that make them look like a uh, I don't even know what to describe the the rest of them like. They're just really, really scrawny little dogs. But that's not the type of dogs I want to talk about tonight. I want to talk about the people that actually own dogs for like actual house pets here. Because they don't have these little like, you know, Pomeranians or poodles that you'd have in a major apartment complex. These guys have giant ass, full size, full breed dogs. The lady at the end of the street here has a, a very beautiful Doberman. I mean, this dog's just a good-looking dog. And then you've got, but again, a very full-size dog for a little apartment? I don't know how they do it. Um, and the other people have these other real big dogs. Like, they almost got the face and the head of a bulldog, but their bodies are the size of, like, like St. Bernard's. I mean, just huge beefy dogs and I'm like why first off 90% of the people here live in some kind of apartment building unless they live kind of in the slums and if they do they don't own the big beefy dog so they're all living in these really small kind of apartments with these really big ass dogs and then I'm thinking why would you go through the headache of most likely importing these dogs when you could just probably take one of the ones off the street and housebreak the damn thing you know, thousands and thousands of dogs here just, you know, all beat up and mangled and just starving to death. And you got these giant 
ass beefy dogs. Why? Uh, you know, the Paris Hilton status had the little poodles. I'd get that, you know. You know, well off to do person here in the country. You got yourself a little poodle in the apartment. I get that. But you got some giant ass dog? Like, okay. And I think what kills me the most about it is that much like the people that just spit in the road here, like, just, not just like a little spit, I'm talking like haka loogie, like, kicking up a lung, just bucket of spit, these people let their dogs just shit everywhere. The guy's walking down the street, dog stops, just blast shit everywhere. And dude just walks that line because prove it was his dog. With all the other ones walking on the streets, he ain't gonna prove it was him. Just one more thing here that you're just like, okay. I mean, at least in the U.S. we've got laws that say you don't pick up the dog shit. You get a ticket, you get caught. But here it's just like, eh, whatever. I don't know. Again, just some of those really weird, strange things here. So hopefully tomorrow will be better. Um, I'm going to post some photos. I took a really couple quick snapshots of one of the areas they're, they're decorated for the uh, the festival tomorrow because uh, stopping in the middle of the street to take photos will get you ran over in this country. And stopping on the sidewalk will probably still get you ran over. So, And the other thing is you don't ever want to look like a tourist. I mean... Being the uh, one of the few white guys in this area, yeah, obviously I'm not from around here, but nothing says, hey, come rob me, I'm a tourist, or come kidnap me, I'm, a, I'm not from around here, than some jackass standing around taking photos. So uh, you just don't do that. It's a safety thing when you're traveling. Anyhow, so I'm going to cut it short. Uh, tomorrow, pay watch Facebook. I should have some photos posted. Uh, if I get a chance, I'll take some video of the event. And we'll go from there. So until tomorrow, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the Facebook page, and uh, we'll catch you on day 32. Bye.